Hey guys, Missy Kitten here. So it is once again Serious Saturday and like I stated in my previous video, I'm trying to get back on track. I know I haven't done Serious Saturday for, I don't know, like a week or two now, but I'm trying to get back on track. So I had stated in one of my, and I think my last Serious Saturday video, that I would do a deeper look into anxiety this time. So, that is what we're gonna do. Sorry about that. She's being, she's making it hard to sit comfortably because she loves to cuddle with Sammy. Um, so, a lot of people, when they think of anxiety, they just think of nervousness. And, you know you feel a little sick to your stomach they think that's all anxiety is and they think well then everyone has anxiety but that's really not what anxiety is the thing about anxiety it's actually like depression it's hard to explain and there are many forms of it you know there's like social anxiety which is probably one of the most common ones that I know of. There's just basically anxiety for everything and it really sucks. It really does. And uh, society just likes to romanticize it too. Anxiety attacks aren't pretty. Uh, recently I know this was trending on everything for a while. A girl had taken a before and after picture. How she looked before her anxiety attack and then after. And I give that girl full credit. I, I, I would probably never be able to do that. I need to sit more ladylike, but I don't really sit ladylike. Um, because they're awful. And a lot of people think anxiety is just hyperventilating, an anxiety attack is just hyperventilating and basically rocking back and forth. But anxiety attacks, they are completely, they vary, basically. It can be the hyperventilating and rocking back and forth. Then there's times where you can't speak because of it. Your heart's racing, you pass out, they get really bad. You feel like you're gonna die. You really do. That's how it makes you feel. You're so scared, you honestly think that you're gonna die. And it's really not pretty. Um, a lot of people, they just see it for what they think it is. They think it's just fear. They think it's just nervousness. But it's so much more than that. If you know anyone with anxiety, or you yourself have anxiety, I mainly want to stick with it if you know someone right now, and they ask you to order food for them, or anything like that, don't laugh at them. Don't make fun of them for not being able to do it, because that can be extremely hard. For them to do. I know I get terrified of doing that. I'm terrified of going up to a cashier or whoever I have to go up to and ask for a job application. That is all part of the social anxiety. It's not easy living with it. A lot of times, now if you have anxiety, the best way to get through it is to just kind of force yourself to do something. And I know that is extremely, extremely difficult, but there's really only one way to get through it, and that's to just really just force yourself to. And I know that it sucks, but like I said, there's only one thing to do. It won't just, I don't think it'll just go away on its own as much as we wish it would. Uh, I don't think anything could ever be that easy or simple or anything like that. 
anxiety and depression, you have to work with them. You have to work through them. And you can't let yourself just give up with it. As difficult as it may be. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example for something. Well, I've talked about the social anxiety a bit there. With the, you know, you, it's hard to order food. You know, you don't talk to strangers. It's hard. You don't talk to anyone, either, really. Heck, I have a hard time talking to my best friends sometimes. Like, I get all awkward and shy, basically as if there's someone new. Um, there's also separation anxiety, which is absolutely awful. I have separation anxiety mainly with my mom and I have been that way since I was little. My mom has always blamed herself for it, claiming that, you know, in kindergarten we had this little party and parents were invited and when she left I didn't want her to leave and when she finally left and well, I finally basically let her leave it kind of started up my anxiety but I've always thinking back I've always had that fear of being abandoned and basically just losing someone you know um, my first day of kindergarten, I remember watching my parents leave and not wanting them to leave because I thought, you know, we were just going to be there for a minute and then we were going to go home. And I'm sure a lot of kids were the exact same way, but it really hit me hard. And to this day, I have a hard time going anywhere without my mom. But, like I've said before, the only way to get through it is to force yourself. Which, like I said, it's, it's hard. But you can do it. It's not impossible, but it's hard. Things will get better. At least I'd like to believe that. I would like to believe that. I wouldn't. I'm not always going to be like this, that if you are like me, if you are like um, a lot of my friends, you know, a lot of my friends have depression and anxiety, you know, it's more common than you'd think. A lot of people just know how to hide it well. You know, I like to think all of us are going to get better someday, but if we don't do anything to help ourselves, we won't. We really won't get better. This is a war that we will win. And we'll be stronger. Every day we will grow stronger. And we will survive. I don't mean to, I hope you don't think I sound stupid saying that as if, you know, we're in like freaking zombie apocalypse or anything, but we will survive this. It is a war inside our heads with these demons trying to destroy us but we can make make it through there are a lot of people who want to see us fall if you know you're going through anything like bullying uh, if your parents aren't ever there for you if your parents are some of those people who really just don't care you know they might want to see you fall but you won't you know we're all in this together that's how I like to look at it we'll never be alone because even though we may feel like it we all have each other that's what I like to think at least it may seem impossible right now but I really think we can get through it. Uh, I don't really know what else.
else to say about anxiety. I feel like I have actually missed a lot because it's really hard to explain. Every mental disorder is really hard to explain. As much as you wish you could explain it so people could understand. It's really something you can't understand unless you go through it yourself. Um, but just remember, you're not alone. And if you pulled yourself through an anxiety attack today, I am extremely proud of you. And even if you didn't, if someone helped you through it, I'm still proud of you because you got through it. Alright? So, I'm going to leave this video here, and I will see you guys next time.